In the last decade, no space agency or company has captivated our imagination quite like SpaceX. With each endeavor, they continue to astound us, creating moments of wonder and promise exemplified by the recent Starship Flight 3 launch. Once again, SpaceX has left its competitors in the global space community awestruck with the remarkable achievements of the world's most powerful rocket. So what exactly did SpaceX accomplish with Starship? How did Elon Musk, NASA, and others react to this monumental achievement. Join us as we delve into these questions on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Just four months after the second test flight of Starship in November, SpaceX achieved another milestone with the successful launch of its third test flight from Boca Chica, Texas early on March 14th. Far from disappointing, SpaceX has once again demonstrated extraordinary capability, adding further significance to their 22nd anniversary. As the world's largest rocket, Starship continues to astound aerospace organizations and captivate global admiration. While the prospect of losing the vehicle could have signaled a disappointing end for SpaceX, the outcome of this flight surpassed expectations, with Starship achieving 90% of its set goals. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, has been vocal about these achievements, sharing visually stunning photos and updates that ignite our imagination. While he didn't provide video clips from the control room as he did during the first Starship launch, his consistent on online presence during the launch underscores his deep involvement and keen attention to detail. It's clear that Musk's unwavering commitment played a pivotal role in the success of this historic flight. The first significant milestone to highlight is the flawless clearance of the launch pad by the colossal rocket followed by SpaceX's seamless execution of the hot stage separation, a sophisticated maneuver where the second stage detaches from the Super Heavy booster. During ascent, all 33 Raptor engines on the Super Heavy performed flawlessly, propelling the spacecraft as anticipated. In the wake of this momentous achievement, Musk took to Twitter to announce Starship reached orbital velocity. Congratulations, SpaceX team. The successful liftoff of Starship with all engines firing underscores the vehicle's capability to effortlessly maneuver itself into a stable orbit around Earth. Remarkably, this marks the second consecutive time Starship has achieved such a feat. Notably, it has achieved what every rocket in the history of Falcon 9 Falcon Heavy, and the space shuttle has accomplished before, achieving a nominal orbital insertion and subsequently losing its first and second stages. Following stage separation, the Super Heavy booster embarked on a critical maneuver to reorient itself for a simulated landing burn. While SpaceX hadn't planned for the booster to land during this mission, the intention was to ignite the engines and utilize the grid fins to mimic a landing scenario. Unfortunately, it became apparent that the Super Heavy encountered difficulties executing this maneuver. In its final moments, observers noted rapid movement of the grid fins, followed by what seemed to be an engine ignition, ultimately resulting in the destruction of the vehicle. During the live broadcast, SpaceX communications manager Dan Hoot conveyed, the team has made the call that the ship has been lost, so no splashdown today. But again, it's incredible to see how much further we got this time around. Additionally, SpaceX had no plans to recover Starship following this test flight, anticipating a challenging landing for the spacecraft. Nevertheless, Starship exceeded expectations, flying significantly farther than its two previous tests in 2023. The company typically regards anomalies in these initial test flights as part of the learning process. The primary objective of these flights is to collect crucial data, enabling engineers to refine Starship and enhance its performance for future missions. To be candid, the progress made during the third test flight is commendable, and it appears reasonable to anticipate a smooth ocean landing in one or two sub subsequent missions. SpaceX has successfully addressed numerous landing challenges in the early stages, boasting approximately 275 successful landings of the Falcon 9 rocket. Therefore, it wouldn't be surprising to witness the company retrieve the booster and return to the Starbase facility in South Texas later this year. The potential for reusing these large stages could materialize within a year or two, further advancing SpaceX's goal of sustainable spaceflight. Continuing their streak of achievements, SpaceX astounded the world by successfully accomplishing pre-established objectives for the second stage of Starship. They achieved a milestone by executing propellant transfer into orbit and conducted a test of the payload door for deploying Starlink satellites. Approximately 25 minutes post-launch, the payload door of the Starship, a crucial hatch required for deploying satellites into space after achieving orbit, was successfully opened and closed. This successful operation validated the functionality of this pivotal mechanism. 
Subsequently, SpaceX embarked on what the company refers to as a propellant transfer demonstration. The objective was to transfer a portion of the propellant on board the Starship vehicle from one tank to another, as outlined in a December email from NASA detailing the test. This demonstration represents yet another step forward in SpaceX's quest for innovation and advancement in space exploration. SpaceX engineers devised this demonstration to initiate the process of refining how Starship will be refueled during future missions while in orbit. During the live broadcast, it was mentioned that the team will need to conduct a thorough review of the data from both the payload door opening and the propellant transfer demonstration to assess the success of each test. Additionally, one of the goals on Starship's agenda was to reignite the engines in space, but this objective was abandoned at the 30th minute of the flight. This decision was grounded in practical considerations. As explained by Dan Hoot, Starship was on a pretty steep trajectory, implying that Earth's gravitational pull would likely swiftly draw Starship back towards Earth, irrespective of whether the engines were ignited. Consequently, the company opted to forego the engine restart phase in space to prioritize the landing phase of the second stage of the test. This strategic decision underscores SpaceX's commitment to adaptability and safety in their pursuit of advancing space exploration technology. As Starship descended from an altitude of 100 kilometers and entered the denser atmosphere, a truly remarkable milestone unfolded, captivating observers with an extraordinary spectacle. Approximately 45 minutes into the flight, spectators were treated to unprecedented views of atmospheric heating affecting the spacecraft. Witnessing the effects of plasma and compression as the spacecraft hurtled back to Earth at a staggering speed of 27,000 kilometers per hour was nothing short of mesmerizing. But how were these remarkable views made possible? Starlink terminals aboard the ship transmitted signals to satellites in low Earth orbit, which then relayed them back to Earth. While the concept of relaying signals through satellites isn't entirely new, NASA has utilized a small constellation of tracking and data relay satellites for communication with spacecraft for the past four decades, starting with the space shuttle. What was groundbreaking was Starship's ability to communicate with these satellites during re-entry. Despite an initially low data rate that dropped out as the plasma thickened, the Starlink connection remained active for an extended duration, allowing for the capture of stunning video footage of re-entry. This third flight of Starship also represents the first flight, featuring technology providing such unprecedented perspectives for everyone, marking a significant step towards openness and accessibility in space exploration. The anticipation for future Starship launches is bound to be even more exhilarating, as we may have the opportunity to witness the entire journey of the spacecraft as adventures towards Mars and beyond distant planets. Musk has actively highlighted this capability capability, expressing on his personal page, watch the super hot plasma field grow as Starship re-enters the atmosphere. This demonstration of confidence and pride has sparked a wave of excitement across social media platforms. Not only does it celebrate the remarkable achievement of Starship, but it also underscores SpaceX's strategic planning and development path. Indeed, the invaluable footage obtained through SpaceX's pioneering work on reasonable rockets, particularly the Falcon 9, capable of multiple launches, highlights the meticulous planning behind the company's endeavors. This strategic approach has enabled SpaceX to deploy over 5,500 Starlink satellites, forming a global network, the largest operated by any company or country in the world. This achievement further solidifies SpaceX's position as a leader in the aerospace industry and exemplifies their commitment to pushing the boundaries of innovation in space exploration. Amidst SpaceX's triumphs, they have garnered significant praise for this launch, particularly from their pivotal partner, NASA. NASA has designated Starship as the landing vehicle for transporting astronauts to the moon's surface in the Artemis III mission, slated for liftoff shortly after September 2026. Congrats to SpaceX on a successful test flight. Starship has soared into the heavens. Together, we are making great strides through Artemis to return humanity to the moon. Then, look onward to Mars, remarked NASA Administrator Bill Nelson. Gwen Shotwell, SpaceX's president and chief operating officer, echoed the sentiment of celebration, highlighting the achievements of the day. Happy birthday to SpaceX. What a day. Huge congratulations to the entire team for this incredible day. Clean count. Glad the shrimpers could get out in the nick of time. Liftoff, hot staging, super heavy boost back, and coast, and likely a couple of engines making main stage during the landing burn. Clean ship insertion and coast, payload door cycling, and prop transfer demo to be confirmed, and ship entry. Even SpaceX's rival 
Capsule Blue Origin extended congratulations to the Starship flight. Congrats to the SpaceX team. This gesture, although surprising to many, underscores the undeniable spirit of competition prevailing in the aerospace industry. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.